Ladies and gentlemen, haven't made that many vids recently there. I'm going to try to get back into it. Um, so here's a little throwaway rant about how WWE sucks right now or whatever the fuck there. Um, so I tried to enjoy Raw, put on Raw. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, to give this company a chance there. I'm trying to be positive there. Um, I put on Raw, and right off the bat, I was disgusted there. Roman Reigns on Miz TV. Um, the big plan is for Roman Reigns to fight Brock Lesnar. We're supposed to be impressed with this big upcoming feud there. So how does Roman Reigns kick all of this shit off there? He grabs the mic, folks, on Miz TV. I want to fight. Brock Lesnar. Really? The guy can't say two words without stuttering and this is the future of wrestling there. This is the future. This is how you kick off a big fucking program for Wrestlemania. Brock Le 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 Lesnar. Really? A stuttering jackass like this? This is going to be the future of wrestling for the next 10, 15 years. Michael Cole telling us that one day he's going to be the greatest of all time. You know, nowadays you can just decide who's the greatest of all time. It has nothing to do with actually being good or making an impact, fans actually respecting the guy. It has nothing to do with this. They just choose who's the greatest. Roman Reigns, greatest of all time there. Future greatest. Even though he sucks fucking dick clearly compared to any wrestler that ever had talent there. But future greatest of all time. Marty Jannetty recently had stories that he wanted to fuck his own daughter there. Let's worship these... These tough guy wrestling heroes there. Marty Jannetty wants to bang his, his daughter. This is in the newspaper, shit like this. He's the greatest of all time now. We're just going to decide this like that there. And that's what they're doing with Reigns. Oh, this guy's the future greatest of all time. And that's going to be the guy that they're going to shove down your throat for 10, 15 years. They're going to do everything they fucking can to try to get you to cheer for him and shit like this there. And this is what you're going to get. I want to fight Brock Lesnar for title. That's going to be your fucking star. A guy that can't even say two words without fucking stuttering. You know? It's going to be fun, ladies and gentlemen. going to be a wild ride there. So that's the beginning of Raw. Then you have Jason Jordan, Kurt Angle's son. For some fucking reason, they're putting him with Matt Hardy all the time there. I guess this is to get him cheers or something, but... It's just random. It's boring. It feels jobberish as fuck. Like the first fucking, you know, the first hour and a half, it was complete fucking jobber city on Raw there. Zack Ryder's buddy, what's his fucking name? The little goofball there. Can't even remember his name. He has a losing streak taking place there. Oh, it's like Goldberg, but it's in reverse. He's got losing streak. <laughs> Kurt Hawkins, that's the fucking jobber's name. This is what you get on Raw there. I done lost 125 matches. <laughs> so fucking exciting, so fucking big time. Such a big feel there. A jobber with a losing streak. This is a big thing on Raw there. You know, then you have The Miz beating up Roman Reigns. And this is going to bring back the shield, ladies and gentlemen. The shield coming back. The thing is, I don't think anybody actually gives a flying fuck there. I haven't seen one video from people 
actually excited to see the shield coming back or whatever. You know, and now Dean Ambrose is a big fucking corny goofball. Seth Rollins is as fucking irrelevant as it gets. And nobody likes Roman Reigns. Nobody respects Roman Reigns as a human being even because he sucks so much as a wrestler or whatever. They're going to put these guys back together in a cheap attempt to get you to like Roman Reigns there. That's what this is going to be. Rollins and Ambrose trying their hardest to get you to cheer for Reigns. And in the process, Ambrose and Rollins will probably get hated because of this crap. Whatever. Whatever. Um, is this going to be good? I don't fucking know there, but I, I think I can smell the cheapness, the sadness in advance there. Dean Ambrose looking at the crowd when they boo Roman Reigns. Trying to force the crowd to cheer for Reigns there. Brock Le Le Lesnar. Boo! <laughs> oh, come on, guys. Roman Reigns a good guy. Right, Dean? <laughs> it's going to be pathetic. I can just see the patheticness. Roman is a good guy. He's my brother. <laughs> De Dean there. I can just sense the gayness right off the bat, ladies and gentlemen. And um, at the end of Raw, what do you get? You get... What's his fucking name? I can't even remember half of the people's fucking names now. Enzo Amore, people. In the fucking main event spot, Enzo Amore cutting a fucking annoying promo. Loses a shit ton of views in the third hour there. They put him in the main event arguing with Neville or whatever. This is what they give the fans in the main event. What a fucking joke, man. What a fucking joke. You can't deny that WWE has gone downhill big time there. You don't even have to compare this to the Attitude Era. Just go a fucking couple years back. Back when we hated the PG era. At least you look back then. What did you get in the main event? Cena matches or whatever. You had CM Punk. <clears throat> Daniel Bryan in the main event. Shit like this. And now you look at, at the main event right now. Last week. Enzo Amore, ladies and gentlemen, the corny fucking midget who can't wrestle. The people think he fucking sucks now or whatever. And this is what they put in the main event. Are they trying to go out of business on purpose or what there? Who wants this in the main event? Maybe a 13-year-old mongoloid kid somewhere. That's it. This is good for cruiserweights. Cruiserweights get a chance to get spotlights. But nobody in their fucking right mind wants to see this there. You know, wrestlers, they've always had the image there of big guys with characters, stuff like this. You put on the main event of Raw, it's a fucking goofy fucking gay midget in the ring. You know, how the fuck can you take this shit seriously? You can't. You can't. It's finished now. It's finished with crap like this. I don't give a goddamn there. You know? Didn't even watch SmackDown. Honestly, I'm not excited about Hell in the Cell. Shane McMahon, I've seen him do this routine against other wrestlers that beat up his dad, stuff like this. The Kevin Owens beating up McMahon part was cool, I guess. There, you know, it's McMahon doing his thing, but... Honestly, the pay-per-view itself couldn't give any less of a fuck about it. I just can't. Not interested. It's not that I'm a bad guy who doesn't want to, to, to enjoy it. I'm just zero interest on my end. Nobody 
in their right mind is going around talking about how they're excited for this. They're nobody. I mean, really. 6,000 people for Raw in attendance for Raw there last week. The 7,000 was terrible. We were shocked with these numbers. Now it's down to 6,000 in attendance for last week's Raw. SmackDown, the show that's supposedly awesome there last year, remember? Everybody pretending that they actually gave a fuck about SmackDown there, the, the best show of all time there, the show that's better than Raw or whatever. 3,000 people in attendance for SmackDown, 3,800 or whatever. <laughs> You know, it's getting fucking low there. McMahon, if he's getting a couple thousand in the 15,000 people arena, he's going to start to lose money at some point with the attendance straight up. You know, he might have to go into smaller venues for regular shows, except for WrestleMania, shit like this, but... Even WrestleMania isn't immune, boy. If you're getting Roman Reigns against Zack Ryder for, for the main, the title one day there, you can you can see fucking WrestleMania is going to go downhill as well. And it will. People, it will. There's no more wrestlers left. So WrestleMania isn't going to be as big as it looks in a few years there. It's going to look like fucking Bound for Glory. People wrestling in front of five, six guys in the tent, for God's sakes, there. But, um, you know, very pathetic. Low attendance, garbage. And then you have Gold Dust on Twitter. Just shut up and enjoy the show. Give me a fucking break, you gay fucking boring goofball, okay? Lots of wrestlers say this all the time. Just shut up and enjoy the show. It's a mystery how they still have any fans whatsoever at this point. They're wrestlers putting on a bad product, constantly bashing the fans. You know, and half of the retarded fans, yeah, I agree. Wrestling fans, stupid. <laughs> They're too retarded to understand that the wrestlers are bashing them. You know what I'm saying? They think it's, oh, it's, they're bashing other guys. No, they're bashing all of us all the time, 24-7. They think they're better than us. They're, they're gay men in fucking spandex. They pretend to fight, so they're better than you. As a human being, you're a fucking subhuman compared to them because they're hanging out backstage having sex with men at a scripted fake fight show there. They think they're better than you. Give me a fucking break. The show sucks there. 3,000 in attendance. Ratings getting lower and lower every year. The shit sucks. There's a reason why nobody gives a fuck about it anymore. Because it fucking sucks big time. It sucks fucking dick there. So yeah. Gonna get back in the game, folks. Gonna make more vids for y'all there. So just, uh, yeah, gonna try to get back into it this week. But fuck WWE right now. It sucks fucking dick there. Until next time. Peace.